This backpack here contains the most versatile radio. No, it doesn't. This backpack here contains the most versatile antenna system that I own to date. This time on K6UDA Radio. Holy shit, Batman. That was a bold, bold statement. But you know what, guys? I stand by that statement. This is truly the most versatile antenna system that I have owned to date. Uh, and we will talk about that after we talk about the new Chameleon m 2.0 antenna system with all the trimmings. But first, if this is your first time on the channel or you're just lazy and you haven't done it before, please hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell notification right next to it. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, thumbs up on this video if you like this and you want to see more kinds of stuff like it. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Thank you guys. We just hit 25,000 subscribers here on the channel. That is a major freaking milestone. And uh, to say thank you, I have a couple of things in my grab bag. I'm going to send them out to a couple of guys. Just random. Uh, leave a comment below. Let me know you want in on the giveaway. I'll see what I could do. I've got uh, these two little packages from MFJ. And I might have a couple of t-shirts or something. So do that. Thanks again. 25,000 subscribers. Let's go take a look at the m -Pass in the wild. Uh, let's say you're at the top of a mountain or the top of something. There are no trees to hang an antenna anywhere near you. Well, this is a vertical. It's a 20 foot vertical. Uh, you can, in 10 foot sections basically, you can, uh, you can make it a 10 foot vertical. You can make it a 20 foot vertical. Oh, look at that. Fresh deer poop. How cool is that? I'm going to set this thing up two different ways. I'm going to set it up as a, uh, as a vertical, like here. And I'm also going to set it up as an end fed. This is it, right here. cool configuration for a mountaintop or something like that but you're definitely gonna need a tuner so configuration number two here so I can uh, I can actually sport this and pack portable just like this. <laughs> I don't think I'd ever do this, but uh, I suppose this is a, uh, I suppose this is a thing. You do have trees. It's an N-fed. It's a inverted V, an inverted L, a, uh, Sloper. It's whatever you want to make it, depending upon the circumstances that you've got. Well, on this.
so not very high. So yeah, this is the heart of it. This is what makes it so uh, versatile. Number one, this thing is rock solid. The second thing, it's a hanger. I put a wire antenna on here, hang it up from a tree, a pole, wherever I want to do, and this thing is working. Take that little guy off there. This now becomes uh, the base of my vertical. I could take the spike, the included spike there, screw that on, stick that in the ground, or stab a vampire. Stick this up in the air, and I am ready to go. If, uh, if for some reason I wanted to mount this on the back of my, uh, say my Jeep, take a jaw mount, screw that on, and now I have a mobile antenna. Easily screw that thing back on, and now I am back to a wire antenna. As far as uh, tunability and everything, I think uh, it could be a little bit better. This thing without a tuner uh, was running at about, and I got to remember, but it was uh, it was at about. Uh, two and a half to one, three to one, which is not so great, especially when you're running QRP power. Uh, you're giving up a ton of signal for the sake of your portability and, uh, and the antenna use. Uh, what I do give up, I get in all this configurability. This is not a cheap antenna system. This uh, this costs quite a bit of money as far as a portable antenna system. Comes with uh, 25 feet of um, counterpoise wire, 50 feet of uh, wire antenna, 50 feet of coax with a uh, choke on it. This ground spike, very nicely machined. It's got a little bit of heft to it, uh, so that is going to add some weight to the backpack, but. Uh, this thing will drive into the ground very nicely. Uh, I imagine also really good for taking out vampires. The 10 foot chaw mill uh, antenna. This uh, chaw mill extension, all for the low, low price, uh, 550 bucks. But that's not all. You get a backpack too, and it all fits in the backpack. This is an MFJ Spider and this uses ham sticks. Very, very nice, but as you can see, I'm gonna need a tripod or some kind of a big pole, so this isn't something I'm taking with me in the backpack. This is a Chameleon MCOM uh, mini antenna. Again, a very nice antenna, and I'm gonna be doing a review on this one. This is actually the antenna that I use on my motorhome, but again, it's a wire antenna. It requires some kind of an infrastructure behind it, whether it's trees or, uh, or a big pole, my motorhome, something else to hang it off of. This is uh, kind of my foolproof box. This is my homemade 64 to one uh, transformer. Very, very good. It tunes very, very nicely, but again, it's another wire antenna. I've got to have trees. I've got to have something to be able to hang this off of and to be able to, and you know, I mean, the box is fairly, fairly big. It's lightweight. Uh, it cost me very, very little to make. I'd gladly lug it up the side of a mountain if I knew I had something to hang it off of. Well, this, the MFJ Big Ear is one of my favorite, most configurable and tunable antennas. Weighing in with the tripod and everything in this bag at a little over 10 pounds. I am not lugging this anywhere that I can't drive it to. Well, this hex beam behind me here, or above me, is my favorite antenna, works the best. 
it is definitely not versatile. It is going to live there for the rest of its life. All right, guys, that's all I've got this time. Uh, remember to like, subscribe, share this video, uh, hit that little bell notification again, visit my Patreon, visit the PayPal, and uh, throw me a buck. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think, what kind of antennas you're using for your portable operations. And we'll catch you next time. I'm Bob, K6UDA, and I'm out of here. 7-3.